Speculation chatter and some metadata about a Nikon Z8 has been buzzing around online for a couple of years now. But what really is the truth behind it? The Nikon Z8 is coveted by professionals all over the world. Well, they have all the more strong reasons for doing so. We all know that Nikon did a pretty good job last year. The Nikon Z FC with its classic gorgeous look and robust functions was a hit with retro aficionados. The business then introduced the excellent Z9, a pro-grade camera with 120 frames per second bursts and 2 hours of 8K footage shot without a mechanical shutter. Nikon's fights are still going on. And since the last couple of years, there has been a lot of discussions about the rumors of the Nikon Z8. And the big questions are, when will the Nikon Z8 come out? Is it real? The Sony 7R4 has a 61 megapixel sensor from Sony. Sony sensors have been used by Nikon in the past. Nikon presently lacks a 61 megapixel camera, but there appears to be room between the Nikon Z7 II and the Nikon Z9 for a high resolution model, which might be the Nikon Z8. Some Nikon Z8 rumors circulated in 2019 and 2020, implying that they may have missed the deadline. Yet, due to chip shortage and limited production line issues, the camera announcement was postponed to this year, but no one knows for sure. But if the Nikon Z8 does happen, and if it does have a 61 MP sensor, what else should we expect? We can start by taking some cues from the Sony A7R4. The resolution of the Z8 is likely to take precedence over everything else, even speed. This may not be for you if you are a sports photographer. To shoot at such high burst speeds, sports cameras like the Nikon D5 or D6 have simpler 20 plus megapixel sensors. The Z8 is rumored to include a powerful 60 MP sensor once again. If the reports are accurate, the camera won't be able to handle continuous shooting speeds of 12 frames per second or higher. Nonetheless, given the Z8's huge resolution, the slowdown is readily forgiven. If the sensors are similar to Sony's, this camera will be capable of 16-bit analog to digital converter, native ISO 64400, and other features. Talking about the 61 megapixel sensor of the Z8, this spec is the basis of the Z8's rumors, and it will be the highest resolution camera ever on a Nikon camera. But with Sony already having Sony 7R4, Sigma having an FPL, and Leica having an M11, is it too late to launch a 61 megapixel camera from now on? We all hope not. Many of Japan's products were distributed over the world as the country witnessed extraordinary post-war regeneration and prosperity. Nikon's optical equipment received great praise and was instrumental in establishing global awareness for the new superior quality of Made in Japan. The company came up with the provisional name Nikoret to indicate compactness while expanding on the NIKO acronym of its Nippon Kogaku moniker at the time, while contemplating what to call a small camera, designed to suit the great demand for locally made cameras. However, after hearing that this was a weak-sounding name for a product destined to be a significant future player, the firm took the NIKO basis and added an N to the end, which in the Japanese language provides a more manly image. The official Nikon brand was formed, and now with their revolutionary mount, they released the Z-series cameras that have the widest lens mount of any full-frame or DX digital camera. This means more light, leading to faster performance and sharper images with new lens designs up to f0.95 max apertures. With mount adapter FTZ, Z-series cameras are fully compatible with over 90 F-mount Nikkor lenses. Approximately 360 F-mount Nikkor lenses can be used, some with restrictions. Accurate autofocus, outstanding handling, and a natural fit for Z-series cameras. 
unique RZ lenses are designed to prioritize optics and image quality with a sense of consistency that combines reliability and beauty with next-dimension optical performance. The result is a system capable of tremendous technological growth and groundbreaking optical advancements. With its next-level image quality, a legacy of innovation and know-how goes into every Z-series camera. These cameras achieve a thrilling new level of image quality capable of inspiring some of your greatest creations. Nikon's mirrorless camera lineup has progressively expanded to include full-frame and crop sensor models with cutting-edge capabilities for capturing outstanding photographs and videos. Because of the ultra-wide Z mount, every Nikon mirrorless camera captures more light with compatible Z mount lenses making the Z-series among the most popular Nikon cameras for photographers, videographers, and hybrid shooters of all skill levels. Meanwhile, the Nikon Z8 with the 61 megapixel sensor is technically too large for 8K footage. If 8K is installed, it will be 8K by cropping or 8K by oversampling. Although oversampling is improbable because 8K video currently uses all of the image processing engine's processing capabilities. The Sony a7R4 features 4K video and mediocre video specifications. Rumor also has it that Nikon Z8 has continuous shooting at 10 to 12 frames per second. The Sony a7R4 shoots at 10 frames per second, and Nikon doesn't appear to be able to go any faster. We're guessing 12 frames per second. Probably Nikon doesn't need another high-speed continuous shooting camera because it already has the Nikon Z9. And if you're wondering if it still has the in-body stabilization, we could all hope so since this is installed on all Nikon Z-mount full-frame cameras, so it can be considered that it will be installed. And of course, this seems a no-brainer too. Dual card slot will surely be adopted as well. There is speculation on the net that CF Express Type-D dual card slots will be used, but we are not sure. Nikon may take safety precautions for a while and adopt one CF Express Type B slot and one SD UHS 2 slot for compatibility. The crucial thing to remember is that Sony's 61 megapixel sensor is only focused on resolution. It's not a really novel sensor and it doesn't have particularly impressive speed or video capabilities. If Nikon uses this sensor in a new model, it may not be able to offer anything more than the Nikon Z7 II other than increased resolution. And it may just replace the Z7 II. Will the Nikon Z8 just be renamed the Nikon Z7 III? According to recent reports, Nikon may introduce a new, higher-end or flagship full-frame mirrorless camera in late 2020 to early 2021 alongside the impending Nikon Z6S and Nikon Z7S. Nikon Z8 or Z9 might be the name of this upcoming camera. The successor to the Nikon D850 might be called the Nikon D880, and it could have the same features and specifications as the Nikon Z8A and Z9. There may not have been an actual announcement released by Nikon yet, but obviously, the Z8 is something to watch out for. Though its specs and capabilities are still a big question mark over our heads, we can never tell until we get behind the camera and see through its lenses. Now that is it for today's video. We hope we're able to give clarity to some of your wonders. Thank you guys for watching and we hope to see you all again in the next videos.